Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. Guys, in the previous video, we have seen that how to create a stored function and call it in PostgreSQL. But in this video, I will show you how to create a parameterized stored function and call it. So let's uh, start uh, doing. And uh, guys, if you have not subscribed my channel, please do it so that you can get the updates about upcoming videos. I am going to make uh, more videos on these topics, stored function, stored processor and all that of a PostgreSQL topics so now let's start uh, creating function the syntax is like this create or replace function name function then function name schema is public like I'm keeping the name same as testing function and here I uh, mention the parameter that uh, I want to give as input into the function so let uh, first uh, parameter is p num and it's of numeric type and the second uh, parameter let uh, it's be p message and it's of uh, text format so text message so this is done now I'll mention the return types so returns it uh, returns a text message it will return so returns uh, text now I will mention the language language it will use plpg sql so after that I will mention the cost of it cost is 100 and volatile so now I will start writing the body as the body part start so now I'll declare variable that will hold the message or even we can do it without declaring any variable but for better practice we whatever we return we assign it to a variable then we return the variable okay p return message text then begin block starts the return message the return message will be like this I will concatenate both of them like p message and then I'll call concatenate with uh, the with the number uh, in plpg square we concatenate strings like this only p num so i have assigned this message to p return p return message variable now i will return this return p return message okay so now i will end the block begin block is end now so this is the very basic things and in the next video i'll uh, i'll show you how to uh, add exception block into this so that we can handle the exception okay so now let's create this uh, function the function is created let's call it so how to call select and then the function name function name is public dot testing function okay now first parameter is uh, parameter is a numeric so i'll give a numeric value like 101 and the second parameter is a text so i'll give a text like uh, hello gram okay so now when i call it what it will return it will return me the message the message is hello akram and it it will append number 101 so overall it will return hello akram 101 okay let's uh, execute it so this is the return value that I got so let's change it let's make 1000 and let's uh, change the message testing function called okay see uh, it's working so now let's uh, uh, I'll suppose I'll give uh, uh, another one 199 and uh, just uh, I'm writing testing function okay 
in the next video i'll show you how to handle the exceptions in in the block like in begin in block just to just like we do in uh, pl sql and other things so stay tuned with me and subscribe my channel to get the updates and if you like the video please like it and subscribe my channel so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye